Hello and welcome to our learning to cook pizza journey and today is my first cook in the Unicoder 16. So let's go and make the pizza. Your support has funded my channel and allowed me to go out and buy the two new Uni pizza ovens that were launched in the spring. So I'm very grateful. Thank you very much. I just had a little rethink about where I'm going to put this pizza on this stone here and I don't think I'm going to put it like I thought I was over this side because it's just not getting hot enough. Yeah, it's about 390. I really needed to be 430 and it is there right <laughs> amongst all that flame. So I I'm going to have to go with that and um, I'm going to keep it close to the front here I think. I've never used an L-shaped um, flame oven before, so this is going to be this is going to be a first for me. So, um, okay, let's just get this in, shall we? Right, let's do it. I need to stand up. I'm trying to keep it close to the front. I know it says that you can just do a one turn pizza. I think at this point of my first ever cook, I won't be doing a one turn pizza. I know that for a fact. It's nice and bright in there. I can see what's cooking. I have got this on low. I'm being very cautious and trying to gauge how fast the crust is going to cook. done I've got to say one thing my pizza looks tiny in this oven this is like my standard size pizza for the coder and in here it's like <laughs> it's tiny but for my first cook I'll get a bigger one in there next time and see how that cooks So it's a 24 hour room proof dough and it was 60% hydration and I got a very crunchy crust for that. I'm just gonna bite into this crust. I love the wispy flames like the coders. I felt that the toppings cooked beautifully and when I did put the 
pizza slightly for a few seconds to the top. I got a very crunchy crust. Let's try that bit. Mm. I waited for that stone to heat up for 30 minutes and I got it to 430 degrees centigrade on the left side. I didn't get it over 380 after 30 minutes on the right side, which is where I thought I was going to cook. So for my next cook, see if I can get that right side hot and see how it cooks then. I, at least I didn't really burn my pizza today. I cooked the base nicely. Yeah, a bit of practice, make bigger pizza. It does make my pizza look very small in there. In the coda, that would be, that would be quite normal. But in there, it looks tiny. It'll be a challenge for me in two ways, this oven. One, to learn how to cook with it without turning it lots, which I did on this cook. I guess when you're used to the oven, I don't expect to turn it as much with that L-shaped burner, but for now. I love the way it's cooked. My little tomatoes on there. Right, I've made a pizza the size of my pizza paddle. I can't get any more on there. And also I've left this oven on for a lot longer and it's now 413 just there. So it has gone up a bit more, 20 degrees more by leaving it on. And the area over there where I cooked before is about 435. I think that's where I'm gonna go, just there. This is on full right now. I'm still not brave enough to actually cook with this on full. But I'm not gonna go to low like I did last time. I'm gonna go down to, yeah, midway is a good, good balance, I think. Cause I think the other one was a bit too, I thought it was a bit too low, but oh, I don't know actually. <laughs> Should I put it on low again? Oh my gosh, wasp. Ooh. Ah. Let's get this in. And I'm on medium um, flame. I don't know what happened there? Did it just fold up at the top? Not sure. Right, I'm not going to be able to do just like a one turn wonder thing. Um, that's not going to be something I'm going to be doing until I really get to know this oven. I can't, still can't, even though it's really bright in there, I can't see how much is cooked the crust at the back. Oh, okay. Not bad. So this is exactly the same dough as the previous cook I've just put, made it bigger. Um. Just a little bit more. Done.
chorizo really well not too much but just touched it on the edges that's really great crunchy crust cook there mm -mm -mm. my mozzarella cheese has cooked really well on there and it's got the juices of the chorizo running into it and then the gas has cooked that nicely on the top I've got a better base cook on the second cook I think cooking on medium was a better experience as well it's less turning when you have it higher I've learned already this was a 230 gram dough ball because I wanted to make it a bit bigger and it fitted to my peels it was about 11 inches all round before the cook and I think it's shrunk a bit since but and then it's a 60% hydration dough 24 hour room proof exactly the same dough as the first cook I've just cooked the pizza one after the other but I did keep that oven on for a lot longer to heat it up to get that other side of the stone to the temperature I needed and I think because of that it's given a better base cook I'm gonna try that piece of chorizo that's being cooked there So yeah, all in all, I can see how this could become a one-turn pizza oven because if you've got that flame on full, you've got a big pizza, it's a very nice pizza oven. This is great if you want to cook big pizza or you want more space to cook your pizza. Mm, so nice. It's a lovely pizza oven. It's really lovely. Big, but it's heavy, I have to say it's heavy. A lot heavier than the Koda. I need help carrying this oven out. And um, I pretty much can manage a lot of my other ovens. I need help with the Oni Pro and I need help with this one. If you don't have a pizza oven, then have a look at all my vids with all the different pizza ovens I've got and then you can see if it's something that you want to have in your garden and make your own pizza. Nice crunchy crust. So, very nice. Very nice. So, keep safe everyone. Take care. Bye. And don't forget to check out our website, gottoeatpizza.com. Link is below.